Welcome back everybody to the final, final video, well the final welcome back to English 9 video. I'm going to post some videos out of this, just goodbye and stuff like that. So uh, this video is really just to um, give out some information about the final assignment for English 9 this year. It is a summative assessment worth 100 points, so please just be paying attention. Um, so. This is the last week of class. This assignment um, is going to be different than others in several ways. Number one, like I just said, it is a summative assignment. It is a summative assignment worth 100 summative points. It will have a massive effect on your grade. So again, if you really want to get your grade up, completing this assignment is absolutely going to help. Seriously. Um, number two, you don't need to watch a video lesson. Yes, you're watching this, but it's not going to be a lesson. I'm not going to go into that. I'll try and keep this quick. Um... Three, there are four different ways to complete this assignment. I know you guys have different strengths, different abilities, and all I'm really wanting to see this what time is just like, what can you do with poetry? So, um, I, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you a brief overview of the four options you have for completing this assignment. And then what you want to do is on Google Classroom, op open, up, open up the assignment, um, and you'll see there's four documents. On each of those documents is going to be a video... Um, attached a link that will take you to me explaining the assignment and then also on the document is more explanation in case it wasn't clear and finally if it wasn't clear enough the video the explanation contact me again no. I want to stress this no I want to stress this uh, this completing the assignment will help your grade I guarantee that if you complete the assignment it will help your grade I want to see your guys best work but at the end of the day do what you can this time I understand it's different than normal so Without any further ado, here are your four options for completing the English 9 final exam quarantine version, basically. Oh, look, one of my hairs popped out weirdly. Fun. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, option one is a poetry anthology, okay? Poetry anthology. What that means is I want you to create a collection of your own poems that is organized around a theme, a topic, or an issue. So what I'm looking for is five original poems that you made um, for this anthology, so they can be poems that you already made before for the previous lessons. Um, they all need to be grouped around one topic, theme, or issue. That can be like a social issue, that can be like a theme, like Revenge is Destructive, that can be um, just love poetry, you know. So, group of five poems, basically you have to have an introduction, and then the poems, and that's all it is. Pretty simple. More information in the video and document. If you're interested in that one, it's called Poetry Anthology. Poetry Anthology. Option number two is the Poetry Analysis Essay. In this, you need to write a short essay um, uh, that is basically um, an analysis of either one poem or a poet's work. So you can choose to like really dive into one poem and just like explain to me like what it was all about, literary elements, all that kind of stuff, or choose one poet and be like, this is what style they had, this is why they wrote, these are the poems they made, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's another option if you're like, I really like writing essays. So what that is, is called the Poetry Analysis Essay. You'll have to have an intro, body, and conclusion, just like all the other essays we've been doing. Poetry Analysis Essay. Option number three is similar but different. It's a poetry essay. So in this essay, what I want you to do is basically tell me, answer a general question about poetry. Like, is poetry worth it? Is poetry valuable? Are we all poets? Um, something like that. Um, why is poetry valuable? Um, and, and answer that question in the essay. I'm going to need some sources from this. So you're going to do some research if you want to do this. Um, but the research can be just any articles you find online, anything like that will work for this essay. So if you want to find that one on Google Classroom, that one is called Poetry Essay. Poetry Essay. The final option that I have given you is the Creative Poetry Poster. Poetry Poster. So this is basically a poster where you take a poem from a poet you write it on a poster and like you make it beautiful. You like bring out the themes of the poem, you like analyze it and like draw that. I'll include some examples of this in case you're confused. But basically you make a po poster that is kind of like exploring a poem. Or it can be a poster that's exploring a poet's work. Like you have pictures of the poet or drawings of the poet. You have examples of their work. You have some information, themes they really touch on, or just poetry in general. You can make a poster about what poetry is, why it's important, what do you think about it. I'm happy to include any of those. So. That one is called the Poetry Poster. Again, more information about each of these assignments can be found in the assignment called, um, what should I call it? I'll call it Poetry Unit Final Assignment. 
Ooh, that sounds official. So check those out. If you need more information, I'm happy to provide it. If you come up with anything else, like another idea, like, oh, my brother, I really want to do this. Uh, I feel like this is something that will encapula encapsulate my poetry work. Tell me about it. I'm interested in it. I'd love to hear it. Really, I just want to hear something from you guys that kind of sums up what you learned in this poetry unit. I know it was short. I know it wasn't much. It was online. But I'd just love to know where you guys landed and what you guys thought of it. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this video was informative. Again, this is a major summative assignment. Basically a final exam. Basically a final assignment for English 9. Just to see what you can do. It's worth 100 summative points. It will massively help your grade go up if you complete it. I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. If you need more information, email me. Check out the videos, check out the documents, and just let's see what we can do. So I look forward to uh, hearing back from you guys. I look forward to grading these. Because this is a summative assignment, I'll give you an extra day. It'll be due next Tuesday, um, and I'll be grading them on Wednesday. If it comes down to it, I am happy to receive any assignment as late as I possibly can, but I appreciate it if it turned in on Tuesday. So, thank you very much. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the full suit today, it's because I always do on final exams. Hope you have an excellent day. Things are totally not chaotic over here. Totally not chaotic. No, it's good. I hope you guys are doing well. So, have an excellent day, and I look forward to seeing what you can do. Um, collection of poems, uh, poetry uh, essay, poetry analysis essay, or poetry poster. Whatever your abilities are, whatever you like doing, whether you're arts and craftsy, whether you're like poetry, whether you're a poet, whether you're a formal essay writer, show me what you can do. I look forward to grading it, and I look forward to seeing you guys next year. Okay.